Hey everyone, so this is going to be my first ever YouTube channel and YouTube video, so don't judge me if the lighting in the background is super all over the place, but um, it's time for me to start getting a YouTube channel up. So as some of you may know me as it's just Belle MUA makeup artist on Instagram and TikTok, so um, I definitely need to start getting into more tutorials and more YouTube, so like and subscribe and I can do a lot more. So some of you that don't know me, my name is Belle, just B-E-L, that's why my Instagram is It's Just Belle M-U-A, so you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook down below. Um, so we're going to go ahead and get started on our first ever makeup tutorial. Tula had sent me some eye balms they have been wanting me to try. If you want to see my little tutorial of with and without makeup of these products, it's going to be on my TikTok. So first things first, we're going to be starting with prepping our skin. I went ahead and used the Tula Rose Glow and Get It Eye Balm, and I just applied that under my eyes and on my eyelids as well to give a nice glow and next for moisturizer I use the L'Oreal collagen moisturizing filler and just apply that all over my face now we can get started on our face makeup so first I like to pin my hair up out of the way just so I get less makeup in there as possible and yeah don't judge me in my speaking terms this is my first ever talking tutorial so i'm definitely going to be all over the place so yeah now that our hair is pinned back we're going to get started on our face makeup so first we're going to be covering up our acne and i like to use a oval flat brush and i'm going to be using the elf hydrating camo concealer so you're just going to head and just dab it on that brush all right so now we're just going to dab that on our acne just to get rid of that as much as we can all right now that we get all that acne covered up let's move on to some foundation for a light coverage foundation i really like to use the morphe 2 foundation hint skin tint in shade ivory and first you're going to shake it up and i really like that this has a dropper so you can just apply it as much as you want and have so much control so to blend it in, I really like to use a flat blending brush. It's mostly used for face makeup, so I like to do that first. And then after I've applied it with the brush, I like to go in with the Wet Beauty sponge. And honestly, it really doesn't matter your product's brand or non-brand, like they still work the same. So we're just gonna go ahead and dab that in. And yes, I'm using my Jeffree Star mirror. Still blending. And at first, I really like to do my eyebrows first and then carve them out with some concealer and then apply foundation. But lately, I have been switching it up and doing my foundation first and then doing my eyebrows. And honestly, I really like that. So yeah, your techniques will always change and you can always find better steps and it's not like you can, can't go back to your old ways. All right, get that neck some more. Get it a good match. And since I'm such a light complexion, I really like this Morphe skin tint. It's a light coverage, um, but it's the closest I can find to a foundation without oxidizing and making me look like an Oompa Loompa. And don't worry if you blend it in your hair, I'll show you a way to get rid of that too. All right, now we're gonna be moving on to warming up the face. I really like the Wet n Wild contouring palette. And so um, a lot of the times when I apply my foundation, I'll have a lot of um, lines right here under my eyes and they just keep staying there. So you know what I found I like to do? I like to dip right in any kind of powder and then apply it right under that eye as soon as you apply the foundation. And I feel like that helps the lines go away under my eyes, if you know what I'm talking about. And you can do the forehead as well, just so it doesn't crease on you. All right, now we're gonna be moving on to some contour, and I really like this because I'm so light, so it definitely doesn't make me super orange or anything like that. And what I like to do, always dab, never rub, because that will remove your product once again. But I like to go ahead and add it right there, tapping it on. And once you've tapped it on, you can lightly brush it up. And I'm the type of girl who likes to bronze the heck out of her face. All right, after those cheekbones, I really like to go on the temple and bring it down. 
And you, if you put a little too much, it's okay. You can always fix it with some more powder. Get rid of all those harsh lines. pretty bronzed up let's move on to some more powder and baking all right now we're going to be moving on with some powder and personally i don't like to bake and like leave it on my face um i do have acne patches so it definitely like brightens those acne and like shows up more and also if you have dry skin i do not recommend baking it leaves dry patches just like the acne so i just like to kind of lightly dab it on give my face a little more color I really like the Jeffree Star translucent powder and I also really like the airspun translucent powder you can't go wrong with airspun and for blush I really like to use the NARS orgasm blush mine is crushed into pieces so I have to do it very gently so I'm gonna do this off camera and after I have that blush right on that brush, I dab it off, blow whatever you gotta do, and then lightly put it on. It depends on how much you like your blush. Um, I like a lot sometimes, but today let's just do it a little subtle. And I literally just tap it on, like, so you can control how much is too much and how much is not enough. You can put it on your nose too, a little bit on your temple, with ac the access on your brush and your chin as well. All right, so right there, I think that's pretty dang good. And once again, just dabbing that as light as you can. So you can already see it starting to show. All right, I think we're pretty good on blush. All right, and next for highlight, I really like to use the Morphe M573 brush. Um, I just love their brushes. They're a little more than I wanna spend sometimes, but they are so worth it. And they have so many different shapes and sizes. So I'm gonna be using the Jeffree Star Brain Freeze palette, and don't judge me, I dropped it, but at least I could prepare the main ingredient because I am obviously too light for these right here, but I do like to use these sometimes. But today we're gonna be going in with cold shoulder. Okay. Knock off that access so we don't have so much fallout. We're just gonna go ahead and apply that right on top of the cheekbone, not too low and not all the way up here, just yet. So right there, that's a good, nice glow. Add a little bit on the nose as well. And the bridge. And I like to put a little bit above my eyebrow as well, not too much, just enough for when you're moving around, you can see that glow. All right, I think that's pretty good for our face makeup. All right, so I know this is my first YouTube video ever and tutorial, but we're gonna be doing something a little crazy. Don't worry, I'll have basic looks and easy looks out there soon. But I'm gonna be going in with the Jeffree Star Cremated Palette. I'm going to be going in with that shade Grave Digger. And I like to just use a small detailed brush. Um, honestly, I got these from Hobby Lobby. Super cheap paint brushes, they still work the same. So we're just gonna go ahead and just create that shape like I did right there. I'm just gonna add a little more color for more pigment. And for me, I feel like the lighter motions are a lot better than rough. I feel like that takes away product. Sorry, I'm gonna get up in y'all's business, but let me just show y'all. Y'all just like lightly circles just right above that. 
just so it's a little easier to blend out. You can do it as messy as you want, just try to make sure it's not all the way up here. All right, once again, I'm using this really tall, very small blending brush, and it's the M506. So I'm gonna be going in with life insurance, not too much, get off that access. And we're just gonna be blending that very lightly right on top of the grave digger. And what I also like to do, sometimes you can just go ahead and pinch those colors. All right, to buff all this out, I'm gonna be using this nice big tapered blending brush and this is M330. So we're just gonna go ahead in. There's no color on this, it's just a straight clean brush. And just buff out all those colors. All right, that looks like a pretty good blend to me. And so this is just one round of each color like I just did. Um, if you want more pigment and more bright and in your face, you're gonna be doing it over a couple times. So I'm gonna be going in and doing these steps all over again. And don't worry about this down here just yet. We're making a cut crease. So a cut crease is going to be a full cut crease. A half is just half and a halo is gonna be right in the middle. All right, so as you can see, when I did all those steps all over again, it looks a lot more pigmented. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and then we're gonna be ne going next on that cutting the crease. All right, now it's time to cut that crease. There's multiple ways you can do this. You can just go ahead and get some concealer and cut it. Um, your color just won't be as bright and pigmented. So what I like to do, if I have a uh, Melissa Lilla water. I don't know how to pronounce that. Millic or water, whatever. Um, I like to get it in my brush and just go ahead and create that shape. But since I don't have any today, I'm just going to be getting a makeup wipe and a makeup brush. Or you can use your finger. It does not matter. But I like to use the brush because it's a little more pointed. And so y'all see kind of where my eyelid folds. That's where we're going to be cutting our crease. And no, it does not hurt. I'm doing it as gentle as I can with creating a line. So that already looks a lot cleaner. You're kind of just mapping out where the concealer needs to go so you can make those colors pop. All right, so we're gonna get in that oval brush one more time. Make sure it's nice and flat. You can pinch it like so. Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer in Fair Rays. Rose. Yeah. All right, we gotta get the handy dandy mirror out this time so I can get it nice and good for y'all. So yeah, I like to start right in here. And if you mess up, that is okay. You can always fix it. Now when adding glitter to the eyelid, I really love to use the NYX glitter primer, but I ran out, so the only thing I'm gonna be having is some setting spray. All right, so I'm just using the Wet n Wild setting spray, and I'm just gonna wet that brush just a little bit, and you can pinch off the excess if it's too wet. I like it pretty moist for the glitter. All right, so we're gonna be using this Jeffree Star uh, Paul Bearer, and just go ahead and get that on your brush. And this would look a hundred times better if I had some primer. It really makes it pop and stick. Then I'm gonna be going into Diamond Ashes just to make it pop a little more on that lid since I don't have glitter primer.
and it doesn't have to be perfect right in here because we're going to be doing something fun with that later all right that's pretty good to me all right so i'm going to do this other eye off camera and i'm going to come back with the fun stuff all right now that we got both of these eyes nice and done we're going to be having some fun with some chains this is going to be inspired by Jordan Shea on, on TikTok and Instagram. Um, she is amazing. She does the best clowns, the best rhinestones, and chains glam. So y'all need to go check her out too. For those of you who don't know who she is, I'll leave her name down below so you can find her easy. Alright, to apply these chains to my eyes, we're going to be using the Duo Eyelash Glue. So I'm just going to go ahead and add that. Alright, so we're just going to be adding this glue right on that coat crease where that shimmer and shadow is separated. Adding the chain is going to be kind of hard to record, so I'm just going to do this off camera and come back and show you what it looks like. All right, now that I added these chains right in there on that cut crease and some to dangle down, and as soon as they're done drying, you should be able to move them pretty good. All right, now that I have both of these chains on there, you can see they're like nice and fun and got some movement going on when I turn my head and stuff. But yeah, so all we gotta do now is some eyebrows, lashes, and lipstick, and we're pretty much done. For lashes, I really like to use the Maybelline Ultra Thin Brow Pencil. So first, I like to outline them and then fill them in. So we're gonna be starting with a line, super light in the front, and then they can get a little darker out here. And light touches are a lot better because you can always add more and it's harder to take away. So that's what I've learned. Now let's fill them in. All right, now that we got these brows filled in, they're not perfect and really how I usually do them, but they're gonna do for today. And of course, I can always come back and do some eyebrow tutorials and etc. And I get a lot of people on TikTok that really like the way I do my lips and uh, wanna know how I do it. So this is a great time to practice a little tutorial on them. I'm using the Jeffree Star Liquid Lipstick in shade Wifey. So first I like to do the top and do my Cupid's bow. Just like so, I don't really like to go down in here that much. So yeah, the top is pretty good. All right, now let's start with the bottom lip. I like to get a lot of product on there. So I'm pretty much just following the shape of my lips already. I'm not doing anything extra really. And if you do mess up, you can always add some concealer to highlight it and make it look a lot cleaner. All right, now that our lips are nice and cute, we're gonna be moving on to some false lashes. I really, really, really like the Kiss um, falsies because first of all, they're super cheap, they're super pretty, and you can't go wrong with cheap. And when I say cheap, they the price is cheap. The product is just like any other eyelashes. You don't need to spend $20 on a pair of eyelashes. And I'm going to be going in with the Style Hottie. Then you just lightly add a thin layer of the eyelash glue right on that eyelash band. And then you just let it dry for 30 seconds. And letting them dry for 30 seconds is really important because it gets the glue nice and tacky and ready to apply instead of moving around everywhere. And I like to get your handy dandy tweezers to get right up in there. I like to make sure the bottom fits more and then go to the corner. 
And you can either add mascara after you've already put the lashes on or before so they look nice and blended. Since I didn't do it before, I'm gonna do it after. All right, now that we have these lashes and everything else done, we're gonna get our hair and our little pretty stuff on so we can get ready for a picture. So first, I'm gonna be taking out these clips and then brushing my hair. You do get foundation in your hair and it's like pretty noticeable, which today I did pretty good about not getting that much in my hair. You can get any kind of brush and just get the same color as your hair. Like if you have dark brown, you'll get a dark brown eyeshadow. Just kind of brush it in there and just brush it out of your hair a little bit and it should look nice to normal. So now that I brushed my hair out, I'm gonna be doing these cute little earrings that I made not that long ago. They're just little chains. So yeah, we're gonna be applying that and then we're pretty much good to go for our picture shoot. Alright, now we're Instagram, TikTok, and now YouTube ready. Thank y'all so much for watching. So this was my first tutorial, so just know that it can only get better from here. But let me know in the comments what y'all would like to see more of and what you didn't really like in this video and you think I should change. I'd really appreciate any feedback. So thank y'all so much for watching and y'all have a great day.